Welcome back to my channel. Today we're testing out the full face of Linda Halberg Cosmetics. So if you want to see how I did it, if it worked, uh, and what palette I used, then stay tuned. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I do love colorful makeup, fun makeup, just in general a lot of color and fun. So if you want to see that in your YouTube timeline, then subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you in my small little YouTube family. Uh, and uh, I upload three times a week. So that is a great thing. So let's start with the video. Also, if you're Listen, if you hear something in the backdrop, it's probably my hubby that is sick and I'm a little bit feeling under the weather as well. So yeah, we, we can do this. I feel like we can do this. If you aren't uh, or if you don't know already, Linda Halbeck is a Swedish makeup artist. She uh, created her own brand and I do have six, six products of hers. Listen. I was totally in love with this Spectral palette, so I bought this one first. And this one is the artwork, which is stunning, by the way. And then, this is what the inside looks like. You definitely can tell I, I uh, used it, this one or this palette I bought in 2020. And listen, I was not, I was not happy at all. Or not happy at all is a little bit too harsh. But this shade here in particular, I can't like get it to work, at least that it's not getting patchy. So, well, that was uh, not quite fun. The other shades work quite nicely. Um, this is a really nice palette. You can use these shadows. These are quite big pans. You can use these shadows all over your face, on your lips, as well as, of course, on your eyes. And then I won a giveaway at uh, one of uh, the Linda Halbeck, uh yeah, giveaways. And then I also got three eyeliners, which is the Black Core, Bigger Slash and Anger Mood liners. These ones are eyeliners. Again, you can use them on your whole face, on your lips, eyes and face. Uh, this is just a regular black, then a green, olive green with gold shimmer and then red, which I mean, I didn't have that. And listen, I am so happy about that. And then they had a sale and I got weak and so I also bought the uh, Infinity palette which is their like all over face palette or eye palette. Again you can use them face, lips, eyes. These is This one is the light one if I'm not mistaken. It's not saying anyway here but yeah. This one is the palette. You have uh, I would say like two highlighters, two blushes, and then a bunch of like contour and eye shades. Again, you can use them for a full face. This is really, really pretty. Again, you can use them on your eyes as well and on your lips and uh, face. And then also had to buy the Linda Halbeck, uh, which was Shimmer Saga, which is one of the newer palettes, not the newest one is the Shimmer Saga, those are four shimmery, um, shimmery shades. I will attempt to use all of these palettes for my makeup. I have started with concealer and um, foundation because Linda Halbeck doesn't have concealers or foundations, at least, at least as far as I know. And we will uh, think about everything in between. And I think we do this. I, I think we can do this with the free palettes and like with free palettes and free eyeliners. I think we can do a full face with Linda Halbeck Cosmetics. I started my face uh, with concealer and uh, foundation and powder. Uh, Linda Halbeck Cosmetics is not having a foundation and concealer as at least as far as I know. They do have a powder which I don't own so I just took that and I think Normally I would go in with brows and I think I will use the palette and I think I will use Cigar, trying to do my brows with it. And I think Fornac, which is this one, is should be a really, really deep brown. 
like listen it looks like black uh, I'm not sure about it but I think I will start with a uh, cigar and let me grab something so I can see a thing normally that is totally normal for me I do fill in my brows first with powder so this could be great again I am still searching for an all over palette where I have everything and I don't need to like bring 50,000 other palettes as well so if that is a good palette you know that could be really really nice so I just combed th through my brows let me like let me just like put that mirror free <sighs> so good so I can use the mirror which is like quite nice I like I said I will start with a cigar and then we go from there hopefully that this shade is working for me and it's not too well this is pigmented guys Hope it's just not too pigmented though or too like warm toned again i'm trying to do as many steps as possible with the three palettes and three eyeliners we do have from london Hubbock. so let me hope that this will work out somehow so i cleaned up the brush clean and then i go into my fi which is Again, the lighter shade, and then we just try to maybe. I think this one would be perfect for blondes. So, that doesn't look bad though. I do like that. I will finish up the brows because I will put in some like uh, gel and a little bit of my NYX liner brush and then I will come back with the face. But that was quite easy, I just, like I said, flew them in. Let's go with bronzer, and I think I will start with my thigh, which again is this shade, and then maybe we go into this one, I'm not sure about that. Let's start there with a fluffy brush. Again, I do appreciate that the pens are quite big, so you can go in with a brush like that and don't have to worry that you like tackle the black or the brown doesn't matter it is a deep shade I do think the shade is really nice it really is a good one I will go into cigar with the same brush just a little bit like the brush is not the best to dip into those powders because it's like it is of course dual fiber <laughs> did give me contour which is great and nice let me also use a let me also use a smaller brush this one and also go into my five which is the lighter shade because I do think the other one which is cigar is a little bit too deep as a contour like I'm pale AF you know if you're a little bit deeper than me or basic one I think that this one will shade will be great to contour with if you're deeper than I think like I said which one is it it's sticky is perfectly for you to uh, bronze but I think this one is this is really pretty Okay, let me go into a blush. I have this one from Nabla. Yes, it is clean. We have two blushes as an option in the palette. And this one is a little bit more like peachier. This one is a little bit more cooler pink. I think I will go with this one because this one is, to be honest, the one I do like the most. You can also, of course, use like the pink shade from the Spectral palette again. I will use Andromeda. This one is, by the way, not a matte blush. It's really soft. Can you tell? It's really, really soft, but really pretty. The 
This one is one of those blushes that are like a little bit like Nas Orgasm but more wearable for pale girls like me. I don't know though if this one would even show up on deeper complexions. Like listen. There's of course a blush palette. He's one of them that has also like deeper tones I think. And of course there is a deeper version of the palette escape again. So just go in there. This shit is really pretty. We do have again two highlighters as well. We do have a more like lighter gold again and a deep like a little bit deeper tone. I think I can rock both. I will go though with Milky Way, which is this one. We'll see about like how this one is performing as a highlighter. But listen, my hairs are everywhere. Again, if I'm not 100%, I am a little bit sick. Lucky for me, just a little bit. But I think you can tell, this one is a beautiful highlighter. It's not too cold toned. Well, maybe a little bit. But I think like this is really pretty. Definitely one I would choose for myself. Maybe I did a little bit work too much. <laughs> We can use the shade Vir Virgil, which she does have as a like single, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And just like put that on the tip of my nose. This one is just a little bit warmer. I think both of them are quite nice. Look at this, so pretty. Both of them really pretty and both of them work on my not existing white black blank canvas. So that is a good point. Let me do the eyes first and I think I need to put in of course an eyeshadow primer because I don't have any and I think she doesn't have one as well. So let me do that because I am super super excited about the Shimmer Saga as well as the Spectral ones. So let's do this. So I just primed one of them because, you know. Uh, of course I want to use the Shimmer Saga, but first we are playing a little bit, I feel, with the Spectral palette. And like, listen, I don't even know what I want to do on the lips, but I think I will use one of the eyeliners. Listen, you can't even tell. One of the eyeliners on the lips. I probably think about this one or maybe this one. We'll see about this. But yeah, we'll thought maybe we'd do a like a fairy tale look a little bit fun like a lot of fun we know we are a lot of fun here so I thought about that I don't know which direction I want to go in but let's uh, put in the spectral palette and I think I want to start with the pink and then we're going from there I think we will use the pink first. Again, I think we want something more ethereal, not too deep, at least in my opinion. Let me think about that. I think I want to start with, again, the pink. And then I'm just like stippling that on here, just in the inner parts. And you can tell the quality of these shades is really good, are really good. Just a cold is one I just don't get. But we will come to that. We will come to that shade. Right beneath that, I want to use want to shade Eerie, which is the purpley shade. I will risk that this look is going to look horribly because I do want to use Occult as well. But I mean, you already knew that I don't like the shade. So, you know. I think I think if this shade would have been like better, like the cold shade, I would love the palette because the sh like the the colors are stunning. But if the one shade is like not working for you, it is horribly, horribly. And don't get me wrong, like this shade is not like none of the products from Linda Hubbock is like cheap. They're all quite expensive. I think the palette itself was around the $50 mark. Of course, I wouldn't get all the products down 
in the description box and to be honest I think if you pay even if you're like new in the business even then I think if you pay that much for a palette I feel like these are IBH palette like prices I feel like then you know the quality should be like amazing just so you know I think I will also blend a little bit with like the pop, like the pink shade again this look could be the worst look you ever see for me who knows who knows but why not yeah we're trying at least trying to use all these shades and then we will try to use with a small brush the occult shade which is the deep purple again so far I couldn't like make it not patchy so we'll see about that we see if I'm maybe able to do it today who knows to be honest I mean I'm not a makeup artist so if it's like looking strange you know I'm just a normal person so if it's not looking good I mean I could just say it is like the quality but you can definitely tell it is not it is quite patchy here already <sighs> I hate that but it's not a big problem because we just ignore that and we use this one instead like the face palette and we will use the deep shade here and just put it on top we we will do that and you know why because I don't have the time to like I don't want to talk about it just deepen up the shade and by the way yes I did try to work around that and started with the occult shade and it still didn't work at all so yeah this could be the worst look ever we'll see about that but I mean I'm trying yeah I'm trying I'm using again the purple and the pink just to blend the black shade in so it doesn't look like I'm totally messed up even though I did was not what I like I said I just I don't know what it is but that one shade is just not vibing with me which is horribly let me use on the lower lash line um, the phantom shade which is this one and maybe in the inner corner maybe the orange it's dim this is a shimmer orange you could of course use that as a blush highlight thing as well let me use that like out here again all the other shades I don't have any problems except the deep one and I am just <sighs> listen I'm not about that life if it didn't work it didn't work you know what I mean so this one is by far at least listen the other ones are oh, like almost our first impression the shimmer saga is first impression the face palette is first impression this one is not again i do have this since two years and the eyeliners i have since this year they like so it's not first impression as well i do enjoy the eyeliners though but again this palette though i think you can definitely skip like i'm sorry for that but you definitely can skip that I just hoped it would be better again it's just that one shade but I'm like I'm just pissed you know what I mean now we use the shade dim which is again the orangey shade just put that here like listen that's a pretty look we also put it a little bit in the inner corner because I think we definitely put in one of the other ones 
Yeah, let me blend that out and I think then we go in with the Shimmer Saga palette. Again, I just blend it out a little bit and I think I want to use at least two of the shades. You can definitely tell if I like move the palette. This is again the Shimmer Saga. It is all shimmery and glittery tones. I think this one will be definitely in a corner and I'm thinking this one maybe? Why should I use Passion? Like, listen, this is interesting. You can definitely, like, listen. Can you tell? This is, this is so cool. You can definitely tell that this one has, like, a blue reflect. But I also can see gold and green. And you can definitely see from another, like, angle that it also, like, reflects a little bit of purpley. <sighs> These shades. Listen, I didn't swatch them. Let's, let's swatch them. So I have, I didn't swatch any of them. Let me swatch them and then we decide which one. <laughs> like, look at these. They are so pretty. Which one do I want to use? I feel like this one, which is this one? Well, this, it's the wrong eye. Listen. This could be pretty. Like I said, the yellow wore one more in the inner corner. Or maybe this one. I think this one would fit perfectly, but this one is a little bit more extra. Mm, I think I will use. I use. I think I will use passion, which is again this one. Listen, doing this video so I can use the palette in my dailies and just combine them with the ABH or other palettes, so I can, you know, say I didn't touch it for that video get me right so <laughs> that is like listen that is the whole reason just saying uh i will use again passion <laughs> so i can use this and test it out again if you are unsure about any of the pro like products i will have a review at the end of the month after testing out all the products which ones i really like which ones i just don't like or which product didn't cut it you know what i mean that happens sometimes so just so you know i did spray it just that i have a little bit more control a little bit less follows because we did establish that i did already do my um base i want to see if that is working at all because glitters are a little bit more difficult to apply with a brush can definitely tell it is a little bit more difficult to apply with a brush. I think I will try to, because of course it's a more glittery base, you know. Let me. Let me just do a little bit more product. This one is, by the way, so pretty. So pretty. You can definitely tell. Let me also try to use my finger. Normally it's better with finger, just so you know. Totally better with finger, but again, you can use, if you want to have a little bit of a softer look, you can definitely use a brush as well. Just blend it a little bit. So pretty. Let me also again grab the shade, which one is this? Success. This one. And then we put it in the inner corner. I think this one is the lighter shade. Let me just not spray it and we'll see what happens. Oh, you definitely can tell this there. Like, of course, it will be better if we spray that. Let me do that. Put that in. It does have a beautiful yellow reflect. Mm, so pretty. I mean, we're we're good to go. Like, listen, I'm pretty. We're good to go. Let me finish my eyes and then we come to the rest of the face. Here I am again. I just um, finished the look with some lashes. These ones are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami Flair. <laughs> I mean, I wear them. So let's uh, come to the last piece of this look, which is lips. And I think I will use one of the liner, of course, in Eng Mood, which is the red. I think I will just like 
slightly use it and then maybe maybe a color to match all of this let's let's try that these pencil you can lose on lips eyes face doesn't matter i didn't use it in my inner waterline because i think none of the colors would fit like a deep green black and a red so i was like okay well Use it on the lips though. I think they are really creamy. They hold up really nicely. Again, these are not first impressions, so just so you know. I'm just lining it like this, and then I use my pinky. Listen, I was trying to find the sparkle on my eye, and then I just blend it in a little bit. I don't want to have it like red red, you know what I mean? Let me use a brush and then we use the shade Unknown, which is the pink in the Spectral palette. Oh, I'm just using that as a, like a lipstick, almost. Again, you can use these colors everywhere, which is nice. Also, we're tying together both of the like pinks from the look quite nicely. Like this, it's more of an ombre pink, like red. And then, because we can, we will use the shimmers again in the Shimmer Saga. And I think this time I will use Love, which has like a pink reflect. I'm just dabbing that on. <laughs> this is so cool. Still could go to Halloween with this look because today is Halloween when I'm filming this. Will I go out in this look? Probably not. But I mean, where should I go? Like, listen, I'm not going anywhere. So I do think it's quite interesting looking. Let me finish up the lips with a little bit of gloss and I'll be right back. I just added a little bit of gloss, which is the pink gloss from Fenty Beauty. I think this is pretty, please. Just so you know. But I think, like, in general, for me, to be honest, I think the lips are a little bit much. I would rather not. <laughs> it's not like, like, listen, I'm not a fan of that ombre reddish to, you know, colorful ratio. But I thought I will let it on, just so you know. I think you can see my versatility on my face. I mean, if you can't, I don't know what can. So let me talk about the other products, if I like them, if I don't like them. Of course, again, you will see a better review. This one is, again, at least part-wise, like 50-50 is, is like uh, products I already know and products it's first impression. Let me start with, again, the Spectral palette. I do love the artwork and again, if that palette, if this occult shade, would be better and it wouldn't patch up every single time. This palette, I would love this. Listen, it does have a, this one side, it does have a beautiful silver. I do love the shimmers. Again, the quality from the other shades, except occult is stunning. Because of that one shade though, I would not spend the around 50 bucks. Uh, again, price will link down below um, for the palette because I think you can buy another one that is better. Um, the Infinity palette, like the face palette, do enjoy it quite a bit. Do love the highlighters, uh, the contour shades. I think this shade is a beautiful, like a liner shade. This one, again, could be a nice crease shade. I do love the blushes. I think this is really, really pretty blush. Do love the highlighters. Both shades work on my skin tone, even though I'm fair AF. Again, if you're deeper than me, there is a second palette and it, this one is, again, the light version. Like that quite a bit. Again, we'll test it out. This one is the first impression. Then we do have the Shimmer Saga, which is uh, like a glittery eyeshadow, I would say. It's not really a glitter though, because again, you don't need the glitter glue. So this one is more of a glittery eyeshadow. Uh, so far, I used three out of, out of the four shades. This one is a really, really pretty eyeshadow. I think I will have a lot of use for this in my daily life as well as on <laughs> YouTube. So if you want to see more looks with the palette, leave it down in the comments. But in general, I do think these are really, really pretty. They do have a duochrome effect. 
really really nice can't complain about this again this one is more of a like substitution to uh, for me at least to an already existing palette but I can see myself using both of the palettes when I'm traveling because this one is working amazingly on my brows on my face again except for puder concealer and foundation and maybe something for the lips I would have everything here that is amazing like I said and if I want to really go low-key for uh, like a job thing you know work travel I don't even need like other like palettes or for like eyeshadow I could use the other side I could use this one as a deeper shade in the crease in the crease you know even that could I use in the crease or to blend out I do have blushes I do have highlighters I do have contour or bronzer thing which worked amazingly and again I could use this one just to substitute to add a little bit of sparkle again do like all four shades packaging is stunning it is kind of like nice compact again both of these palettes are not really like cheap just so you know I think both of them I bought on a discount because listen no, I don't have that money. So um, yeah, this one, again, I do enjoy this one quite a bit and I'm happy to uh, own it and use it. And then we do have the like liners, which this these are the core liner. Again, black core, weakest light, and then anger mood. I think these ones are more of the like moody thing. There's also yellow, green, blue. Again, there are several. I have won these. And then we do have the Vega Flash, which is more of an olive shade, which I do like a lot with a gold shimmer. These ones I do really like. Um, I don't use these deep shades, especially the red on a daily, but I feel like these shades are really nice and they do like hold up in the waterline quite good. Again, the red I probably use more on a uh, like like lipstick base, but I mean other than this, again, I think like I I can reflect on from these to the other colors, so they're a great formula, I think at least. So let's uh, come to the closure. I think we definitely did a whole phase of LH Cosmetics with six products. We didn't need more. Again, we could have gone. <laughs> with less products even and I would be fine as well again we could have done as well more of a more neutral lip again with uh, these colors also we didn't have this by the way they are really comfortable I mean sure I did put a gloss on top but other than this so you have that except for foundation concealer lashes mascara and a little bit of gloss but just that I wanted to I think all the other things we're done with the three like the six products here again it's technically just one of those and technically we could have just skipped that and just put a gloss you know but yeah i think that is amazing like listen i can't say that about every brand i own so i am really excited about the look again i would change up the lips though because i feel it's a little bit too much for me just so you know but other than this i do like my look Again, except for that one shade that just doesn't want to play long. Uh, all the other is beautiful and I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see like more one brand looks, then write it down in the comments. I would really appreciate also if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and be part of this uh, small little YouTube family. And if you want to see other things, then also like write that down in the comments and we see us in my next video. Bye guys.